Hello, this video is probably not a title you expected to see here on the Lone Fox channel, and it also was really not a title I was expecting to be titling a video this year. And I guess kind of before diving into everything, this has been something in the works for probably about a year. I mean, nine months, a little longer than that. I cannot believe that today is the day I'm filming this video. It is crazy to think that. And honestly, I'm not gonna keep this surprise for much longer. Now that I have my own home and I've been renovating it here on the channel with you guys and kind of the upstairs in the main living area is to a point now where it's pretty much all complete. But essentially, I felt it was perfect time to get a little puppy. And I know some of you guys are probably mad at me with this title. I want to apologize immensely right now. But something I gotta say is that I do not plan on having children in the future. Like, it's not a huge vision I see for myself. Um, I wanted to utilize this title once, and I figured, you know what? This is the only time I'm really able to do this when I become a dog dad. And before diving into the backstory and kind of everything surrounding why this is happening now, I do just want to share with you guys the footage of me seeing him for the first time and picking him up at the airport. And then we're going to dive into everything. I think it will give a little bit more context. Alrighty, we're going to pick up the dog. My mom is in the back. Yay! She came because we're going to be a little babysitter or she's going to help me. I'm going to try. Yeah, help me be a father for a little. Yeah, and then Marie's fine. here, the mother of the child. We're co-parenting. <laughs> we're co-parenting this yes. little baby. Kind of nervous, kind of excited. She said baggage claim T4 B term four. I will meet you there, but I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Four? But she said terminal four, but it says this way, terminal four. It's just this one right oh, here. Oh, okay. But Rue, phone. how are you feeling? I'm scared. I'm not actually scared. I'm actually not even nervous. I'm just more so nervous. I don't want to not be able to find the lady. And then for some reason. She's like, oh, gotta get back on the plane. I know. Over here? I'm sure she's like somewhere in there. collect myself you guys for a solid 10 minutes you are you crying collect myself you were crying when? a little earlier i was what like oh a tinsel like when i first saw him i was actually oh. my breath was taken away because i didn't expect her to open it and him be upside down just on his back like that looking like that we're going on a family adventure Yay! first day with the little dog justin's here marie justin just met the dog this morning and then marie met him last night he's so cute you guys look at him 
He's perfect. Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> he said, "Oh, I want to go in the front seat, Miss Girl." Um, but we're we're gonna go get. He doesn't have a leash yet, or like a little harness, or collar, or tag, or anything like that. So we're gonna go to PetSmart and get him some items right now. I like this one. Okay. Kind of matches his little brown. Kind of matches your house. I know, it's chic. <laughs> <laughs> it has antique brass and brown cognac leather with a gorgeous woven taupe cord. We got him this little harness. Better for me to have. This is Are you gonna give a little hint? Oh yeah, you guys, we just found a dog bed that matches the color palette of my room makeover, which has not come to the channel yet, but will be shortly, so a little hint. You have the hiccups? Yeah? He gets hiccups, like, after he drinks water. Oh. Coming to play today. Go get it. Oh, can I have that? Can I see that? No, you want it? No, it's mine. No, that's mine. I have a lot of clothes and stuff I need to put away. I had to pick everything up off the ground, of course, when he got here. So I kind of just like put some stuff on my benches. I need to just organize it. It's now the weekend. I got him on Wednesday. So I think I have some free time this weekend to get kind of everything situated. Eating my finger. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so tired. Everyone give a warm welcome to Winston. He is the newest member of the Lone Fox family, and he is such a good boy. He wanted to say hi to everyone, so here he is. He is an English bulldog, a little baby. He's only 11 weeks old right now. I just got him about five days ago, and he has been the goodest boy in the world. He's genuinely the sweetest, most lovable, cute little puppy I've ever experienced in my life. If you guys know me or you've watched my channel for a while or you follow me over on Instagram, you would know that my family has grown up with bulldogs my entire life. So ever since I was young, we've actually had four bulldogs since I've been born. Um, two of them passed away, of course, over the years. And then my parents currently have two right now. And one of them is actually 12 years old. His name is Jimmy. He's on the home screen of my phone. I share and post him all the time. And I actually go back to my parents' house more than I should to see Jimmy and Biggie because I am obsessed with bulldogs. Like, I have an obsession with them. And I know a bunch of people, whenever I post stories about the dogs or Instagrams or anything, I always get so many DMs of people saying, don't promote this breed of dog. This is an awful breed of dog to have. And something I'll tell you guys is from my family's perspective, we have never had a bulldog with issues. We've never had a bulldog with breathing problems. Any of the issues that kind of arise with talking about English bulldogs or even French bulldogs, we have never had the problem. All of ours have lived full term, full age, no health problems at all. And really what got my family into English Bulldogs was my grandpa. And a lot of you guys know I actually did a makeover at my aunt's house when my grandpa ended up moving with her because he was getting older. And he actually passed away last week. I did just want to kind of mention that here on the channel because he was the one that got my mom into Bulldogs. He had Bulldogs his entire life too. So I wish he was able to meet Winston before he passed, but I actually got him just two days after and it wasn't exactly something I was looking for. I wasn't like actively searching for dogs or anything. My aunt ended up sending me a Facebook post of his baby photo and I just DM'd the lady and I was like, is this puppy available? And she was like, I haven't like posted about him yet, but essentially yes, but he is available. And I ended up just having to do it. Like I could not stop thinking about little Winston for so long. Put him down. Um, I couldn't, I just couldn't stop thinking about him. And I was like, you know what? I have my own home. I feel like there's never going to be a time, like a right time in my eyes. I know myself as a person and I'll be like, oh, we could do it later. I'll do it later. I'll get to it later. I knew if I didn't go with it right then and there that I probably would wait on it. And I just felt like it was the most perfect time to add little Winston to our families. I hope you guys all love him. And this was just a little video introducing Winston to the Lone Fox family because I'm sure he is going to start making some appearances in the background of videos. He's 
really, really fun right now. He's definitely a little rambunctious. He is a puppy, 11 weeks old, so he's been jumping around and playing. Bulldogs also have the tendency to sleep often, so I feel like it's a great breed for myself because I am someone that works a lot. I just don't think an active dog for my lifestyle would be completely cohesive, you know? And I feel like Winston is just at home here. He loves it so much, and he has been so good, you guys. I kind of want to do an entire video of kind of puppy-proofing the house, and I thought that'd be fun to share with you guys because I actually am going to be doing some sort of DIY dog door on the balcony. I want to add some gates to some areas. I have an idea to make him a little home. So there are things like that totally let me know in the comments below. And really that was all for today's video. I just wanted to introduce you guys to Winston. I also did go ahead and create Winston an Instagram page, which is Mr. Winston Fox. So if you guys would like to follow him on Instagram, I am the kind of person that takes a billion photos of dogs. Like I will take a million photos of interiors, but I will take a billion photos of my dogs. You know, like my entire camera roll is only puppies right now because are you kidding me look at that little sleeping boy and let me grab the little boy to say goodbye say bye everyone to the lone fox family oh he's so sleepy you want to go to bed he normally likes to sleep right after breakfast so i think it's time for him to go to bed look at him that was today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. And I would love to know if you have any tips for new puppies, anything at all I should know. I read every single comment on my video. So please feel free to give any tips, any suggestions. If you have bulldogs, also leave any tips below as well. I've had them my whole life, so I feel like I kind of have a general understanding, but any additional info would be amazing. And I'll catch you all in my next video, which will definitely be more home related. But I did want to share Winston with you guys because he's going to be a big part of the Lone Fox family. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!